let's check out what exactly happens during practice of the repeat sentence. Tom accepted the offer and began his career as a teacher and imparted education to pupils. Tom accepted offer as a teacher and uh, be began his career as a teacher. Well, if you also have such problems and repeat sentence, then trust me, I'm promising you by the end of the video, you will have a full fledged solution as to how to get the complete marks towards your PTE speaking repeat sentence so that you get 30 to 33 marks directly towards your speaking and listening. All you got to do is don't forward the video, watch the video till the end. Hey everybody, Nakul here from Skills PTE Academy. Well, I really hope everybody is doing fantastic. Well, today is, is a big day. Uh, I've got the core of the problem. The problem is why I cannot repeat in the repeat sentence. A lot of students asked me to make a video on repeat sentence, PTE repeat sentence, which contributes 30 to 33 marks towards your speaking and the same amount 30 to 33 marks towards your The major problem is if it's a short sentence, I'm very much comfortable, but a little lengthy sentence will pose all the problems to me. What is happening? Why cannot I repeat the lengthy sentences and repeat sentence? Well, if you ask me this question, there are two main problems. The problem number one, approach of storing the data in your memory is completely wrong. I'll soon come back on what it is. The problem number one is done. The problem number two, Perhaps you have very limited or incorrect knowledge of how software evaluates you in repeat sentence because repeat sentence is a very easy module. There is a way out. There is a tip. There is a technique. There is a trick. Software will not be expecting each and everything from you. But a normal student thinks that everything has to be given in repeat sentence and falls for the trap. So before we step into the problem number one, let's understand the problem number two, why a lot of people have a very limited knowledge on the evaluation criteria and because of which what all problems happen. So let me just share my screen. So repeat sentence, the content is not five. The content is three mark and the fluency is five. What is more important? Five or three? Five is more weighted. So fluency is more important than the content pronunciation is five pronunciation is about clarity if you are fluent automatically pronunciation marks goes up the idea being content is less priority but mr butterball listens to a 13 uh, word sentence and attempts to repeat all 13 words correctly and in doing so mr butterball pauses fumbles frustrates shouts do what not to get the content right but content no mark it is the fluency which is the priority so this is where a lot of people are going wrong the practicing day and night i'm not denying it but you're practicing and running in this direction but you need to take a u-turn and run in this direction that is what this video helps you understand you practice but practice rightly so content three mark not five and if you speak hundred percent correct you get three out of three. But for that three out of three, if you are not fluent, you end up getting big zero. The idea is very simple. Whatever you speak, you need to be fluent. Means you need to speak like the speaker, continuous, without unwanted pauses, without fumbles, etc. And there is one more catch. Content, you don't have to get three out of three. Even if you speak 50 to 60% of the content, I repeat, even if you speak 50 to 60% of the content, you don't get content zero. You still get two out of three. Trust me, it is enough if you get two out of three content, but five to five fluency, five to five pronunciation, these two are more important. The idea being, if you apply all the mathematical things and all, uh, content three, fluency five, pronunciation five, gonna be 13. And content two, Fluency 5, pronunciation by, going to be 12, 13. This will be converted to 3. 
if 13 is equal to 3 12 is equal to 2.8 something it is closely same as 3 only the idea is very simple one repeat sentence contributes max 3 marks so here you speak full content perfect fluency very good pronunciation you get 3 out of 3 you give half content half or 60 to 70 percent content but fluency full exceptional fluency and pronunciation you end up getting three only the idea is for lengthy sentence apply this 50 60 percent you speak that's enough but your fluency has to be perfect and that's where 90 percent of the people make mistakes so let's understand uh, this particular audio let's the audio is economy of the nation is gradually declining due to pressure from neighboring countries there are 13 words in this so a typical random person would try to speak all 13 words uh, economy of nation is uh, declining uh, due to pressure uh, from neighboring countries ends up getting zero but that person thinks exam went absolutely fine and expecting 90 next it is sees the score report gets 55 60 because of this problem what you assume is 90 percent of the times incorrect what you experience the score report right that is the reality so here on the other hand if you speak like the economy of nation is declining due to pressure you get full marks man trust me on this i can write on a bond paper you will get full marks if you speak like this but people will not speak like this so what has to be done if you want to speak like this now comes the second approach um, where you need to understand how the data is stored in the memory now the topic is done speak 60 70 percent fluently but can you really do that let's understand um, two methods to speak fluently first is listen less speak less my capacity is six words you then listen to six words no don't be mr butterball who wants to listen to all 13 14 words listen to six words if your capacity is six words Nakul, after sixth word seventh word come what will i do Nakul? close your ears you got to close your ears otherwise you mostly gonna mess it up isn't it so so listen less six words your capacity listen to six words but when you speak don't fumble speak those six words perfectly you will get full marks simple isn't it listen less speak less no no cool i will listen full what is going to happen if you listen full what is going to happen let's understand so let's see this 13 words the economy of nation is gradually declining due to pressure from neighboring countries let's say a student is listening to it the he listened economy is listened so when you listen the first word the number one will go and sit in the first memory slot economy you're listening will go and sit in the second memory slot of third memory slot nation fourth is fifth gradually sixth and that's it there is no space available let's say you have a glass one liter or half liter 200 ml glass you filled 200 ml of water and you're still filling what is going to happen it will spill isn't it so yes or no so here the student has only six memory blocks available to store he listened to all six words and stored each one of them one two three four five six but seventh word he again listened seventh word is declining where will declining go it will sit in the first position where the was there next uh, due will go to economy two will go and sit in the off Pressure will go and sit in the fourth slot. From will fifth slot. Neighboring sixth slot. Countries again first slot. It has full become. In uh, India we have this pav bhaji, masalas full. Everything is mixed in this dish. Now Mr. Butterball tries to speak 50 percent or 60 percent, and he starts uh, gradually declining uh, countries. And this is what is happening to most of the students watching this video not all of them but pretty much close to most of the guys well if you don't have problem in repeat sentence then go ahead and speak full but if you have problem the reason number one is this you are listening everything correct you listen less then you can speak less or you listen full you try to speak less you can't and that's where you will have a problem uh, so listen less and speak less will work for you guys the second method is understand and speak so when you understand you're getting a picture 
you can feel the economy of nation is gradually declining this economy of nation is gradually declining the six seven words you can put in one slots with one picture i'm gonna get a picture of the economy of the nation declining get that picture man where unemployment rate poor country that picture i'll put it i'll not put the economy of a nation no 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 i'll put one picture due to pressure from neighboring countries now that country this country this country that picture i put and when i want to speak i read this picture the picture the economy of the nation is going down because of the pressure from the neighboring country see i'm fluent but i'm not exactly speaking the same words due to i can say because of will that be a problem see 60 50 or 60% of the content needs to be correct for you to get full marks you understand and speak first benefit you will speak fluently second benefit most of the words you will speak for few 3 to 4 words or 2 3 words you may put a synonym or some other word will that work that is been working because these two methods give you that fluency which is the priority in repeat sentence hope it is clear why i am not able to speak properly why i am not able to repeat and repeat sentence are these two reasons so don't memorize listen less speak less or listen understand speak any of this will work so i'll also show you the demo i'm going to take few of the questions and show you how to speak in just a while hold on for a while um so when will you lose marks let's sum it up when you fumble you lose marks when you don't produce any content you definitely will lose marks when you speak with full pauses the economy of nation will gradually decline due to pressure from neighboring countries when the audio is not clear because software has to understand if it is not understanding the marks will go down something like economy of the nation in tribe countries no marks pass please understand and the last one 99% of the people belong to this category when you try to speak everything you actually lose marks but trust me you guys are every day practicing by trying to speak everything correctly that's a wrong approach so this is the problem you practice practice get lose marks because get less marks because you're practicing in a wrong way you try to practice by speaking everything correctly try to speak everything correctly no improvement well if you can speak everything correctly well and good but if you have a trouble and every day you are trying to speak everything correctly the most probably you're going to make a mess in the exam so when you try to speak everything correctly that's where you lose marks don't try to speak everything correctly listen less speak less you get full marks so time for a demo so i've got uh, some repeat sentences here i'm going to play the audio some five six repeat sentences i'll show you what gives you marks and what not the students were keenly paying attention to their professor to glean knowledge the students were closely paying attention to glean knowledge something professor made a mock came i skipped it but will i get marks definitely yes the students were paying attention to glean knowledge this is what i spoke but i was fluent next audio the main pastime of british kingdom was to destroy neighborhood kingdoms the main pastime is to destroy the neighborhood kingdoms and this is the british kingdom a lot many words not required if you can you speak other ways speak less and be fluent to get full marks okay next one minister got his cremated with due rites and honor minister got his cremated with due rites some word was there i didn't understand now if i speak just minister got his cremated you will get some marks too yes but if you fumble marks gone the batsmen crouched down upon their bats and defended stubbornly the batsmen crouched down and defended stubbornly some words were there i'm skipping it because i'm listening to only whatever i can speak i'm being smart be smart be smart Don't have to speak everything. Be fluent. All human beings have a right to the basic material requirements for a life of dignity. All human beings have arrived to the life of dignity. 
and being very fluent which um, like in the middle i skipped few words that's okay all human beings have a right to the basic requirements i missed it for a life of dignity i'm speaking i listen understood speak the earth has enough for every man's need but not enough for every man's greed the earth has enough for every man's need and greed this is enough so hope you are getting it this is more than enough so next time when you practice practice this way so you can increase your scores again don't practice the same way change the approach like i told you take a u turn and change things things will fall in place well i really hope this video helped you um well if you like this video give your appreciation with a like button after all i'm human i also feel motivated when someone support us when someone tell us that we're doing a good job and because of our videos they are able to get good scores all right keep this in mind and anytime you need an online assistance uh, text us in the whatsapp we will be happy to assist you very soon we'll be back with the next set of video this is nakul signing off from skills pt academy keep watching skills pt academy guys and subscribe for more updates